Bible study through the Gospel of John that I began a couple of weeks ago with uh, the study and the PowerPoint and all that that I'm still working on. I think maybe I might plan a kickoff date of early June uh, to get started in that. It's not that far away anyway. A um, couple of reasons. One, I'd like to promote it a little bit more, see if there'd be other folks that would like a basic Bible study, basic truths about uh, the Bible and Christianity and about Jesus from the Gospel of John. It's a really good uh, study to go through for all of us. That's good also for new believers and uh, that sort of thing as well. So uh, I might promote that a little bit. Um, one of the reasons is that I've gotten um, uh, roped into teaching four days a week. Uh, for a teacher whose mother is in hospice care. I mean, she stepped out for basically the rest of the year. So uh, give me a little bit more time to get back to that and get a couple of lessons ahead before I start into that. That's kind of uh, uh, helpful. So, and, and, But also I think just a little time to promote that and hopefully encourage some folks. If you know anybody that you know, might be interested to come on a Wednesday night informal school Bible study, you know, what we usually spend about 30 minutes or so in Bible study, then uh, time for prayer um, in the uh, book of John, Gospel of John. You know? So we'll be doing that uh, coming up. I'll uh, firm up for the exact kickoff date here soon. But in Matthew 22, I, I found this as I was looking uh, for some stuff what to share with you this week. In Matthew 22, just two verses... Um, and, and we really could probably read the, the larger context uh, even here. And if we wanted to back up, let's read the whole passage, and then I'll come back and focus on verses 31 and 32 just, just for tonight. Uh, this is at a time near the end of Jesus' ministry, and there are groups that are trying to uh, basically uh, trip him up. And after the uh, Pharisees had their shot at him on the issue of paying taxes, in verse 23, that same day the Sadducees, who say there is no resurrection, came to him with a question. Teacher, they said, Moses told us that if a man dies without having children, his brother must marry the widow and have children for him. Now there were seven brothers among us. The first one married and died, and since he had no children, he left his wife to his brother. The same thing happened to the second and third brother, right on down to the seventh. Finally, the woman died. Now then, at the resurrection, whose wife will she be of the seven, since all of them were married to her? Jesus replied, verse 29, you are in error because you do not know the scriptures or the power of God. At the resurrection, people will neither marry nor be given in marriage. They will be like the angels in heaven. But about the resurrection of the dead, have you not read what God said to you? I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. He is not the God of the dead, but of the living crowds heard this, they were astonished at his teaching. Um, and we can't discuss 31 uh, and 32 without being aware of that context, the, the, the story there, but I want to kind of focus on verse 31 and 32. But about the resurrection of the dead, have you not read what God said to you? I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. He's not the God of the dead, but of the living. Jesus begins um, by saying that this is about the resurrection. About the resurrection. Now the Sadducees, like the other religious leaders, the Pharisees, scribes, other groups, uh, they are attempting to discredit Jesus. At this point in his ministry, it's getting very close to the time when they will arrest him, and then he will um, you know, be tried and put on the cross. We're, we're getting very close to that. It's leading up to that. All of these groups are trying to find ways to get him to say something that they can use against him. Now, these people, the Sadducees, scribes, and Pharisees, and others, would have thrived in our culture of personal destruction. They would have loved to have had social media to go online with 
and mm -hmm. tweet and say all kinds mm -hmm. of horrible and nasty things about uh, things that are people that they didn't like. Well, that's what they're doing, okay? And that was their heart, too, a very uh, malevolent heart. They try to trick Jesus into saying the wrong things, and they, they try to throw out subjects out there that are, are just bound to uh, trip him up. They're, they're trying to sandbag him, uh, to make him look foolish, or to get him entangled into mindless questions, or more than anything else, to come down on one 